Well, hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021 and welcome to the, what's today? Saturday? Friday? Friday? Saturday? It's Sunday. The Friday edition of Mr. Eric Reads. Hope you guys have had a phenomenal New Year's Eve and that you are excited to start 2021 off on the right foot with whatever resolutions you've made, with whatever goals you've set, which, with whatever mindset you've changed into, whatever it is. Um, as always on Mr. Eric Reads, we're going to continue to read books that I think are humorous, that you guys, I hope, enjoy, um, and that you guys start to use your imagination more and more. That that will remain the same for 2021, just like it did for 2019 and 2020. So without further ado, let's talk about today's book, which is by Daniel Postgate and is called The Incredible Worm. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this tale right here on Mr. Eric Reads. Into a brook, dropped a worm on a hook. Well, bless my soul, said a trout with a yell. What a marvelous treat, something tasty to eat, and I'm getting just peckish as well. The worm said, yes, I am tasty, but don't be too hasty. To eat me would be a great blunder. As a matter of fact, I can dance, sing, and act. In a word, I'm an absolute wonder. So the worm entertains, or at least so he claims. Let us be the judge, said a pike. We don't claim to be smart about theater and art, but we certainly know what we like. So the worm said, right -o, let's get on with the show. And he put on a tiny top hat. And from somewhere there came a small sparkling cane. It's off to a promising start, said a sprat. Then the worm sang a song. It was bold, it was strong, and yet sentimental and sweet. Asked a bass, is it wrong to be moved by a song from a creature I'd happily eat? Then straight after that, the worm started to tap, and he tap-tipped his way round the hook. All the fish found his dancing and prancing and trancing, and soon others came over to look. Then the worm played guitar. He played blues, rock, and ska. He played funk, he played punk, he played jive. All the fish folk applauded, and he felt well, well rewarded for letting the worm stay alive. Then the worm told those folks some hilarious jokes that they'd howled like they hadn't for years. Hee hee hee, you've tickled me pink, said a freshwater shrimp as he laughed through his saltwater tears. The worm smiled and bowed and said thanks to the crowd. My dear friends, you're a generous bunch. Now I really must go. But the trout said, oh no, you're talented, clever, and funny. However, I still want to eat you for lunch. All the fish made a fuss. They said, but well, what about us? Don't be daft, said the trout. He's too small. Come along, let's not quibble. He's my little nibble. I spotted him first, after all. Trouble turning the pages. Then the worm whispered sweetly, mm, Well, before you all eat me, please let me perform one last time. Gather close, take a look. Then he climbed up the hook and he tugged very hard on the line.
With a sudden great swish, something swung past the fish and into a net. They were all bundled. With a flip and a flop and a splash and a pop, straight into a churn, they were tumbled. So now what do you think of the show? Asked the shrimp, said the trout. Well, I really must say, that young worm is a star. Without a doubt, he'll go far. At the end, I was quite swept away. The boy cried, hooray, that's my best catch by far. And he picked up his old battered churn and with a splosh and a splish, he went off with his fish. And of course, his incredible worm. The end. That was Daniel Postgate's The Incredible Worm right here on the 2021 first edition of Mr. Eric Reads. Hope you guys enjoyed that book. As always, guys, please continue to stay safe, wash your hands, and this year especially, let's make it a point, a goal, an intentional decision, whatever you want to call it, to be kind in everything that you do. And remember, it's very simple. When you be kind, others are kind, the world's a kinder place when you do that. So, come back again tomorrow, we'll have another book right here on Mr. Eric Reads.